In this tutorial, we're going to go over Doodly Rainbow, what it is, how to get it, and how to use it. Doodly comes with a variety of characters and props pre-installed. Now, by default, they're black and white line images. However, with Doodly Rainbow, you can instantly convert these images into color images. So what exactly is Doodly Rainbow? It's a paid add-on, so it does not come stock with your Doodly Standard or Doodly Enterprise software. You do need to purchase it separately. If you're interested in purchasing it, you can go over to my videos and click on the Doodly Rainbow add-on down here. So what does Rainbow do exactly? Once you've purchased it, you have this little button control. It's your Doodly Rainbow tool. And when you click it, you can turn it on and off. So right now I've turned it on and you'll see all of my assets have changed to full color assets. So here's some of the characters all colored in. And then some of those same props we were looking at earlier, all colored in. If I were to add a new scene, I could add a Doodly character. And since I have Rainbow turned on, he's in full color. He'll remain in color even if I turn Doodly Rainbow off. So now I can add other characters that are not in color. This is often helpful if you want to draw attention to a given character or object and have the rest more in the background. And if you change your mind, you can click on the character, click on the gear option, and you can turn Rainbow on or off for each specific asset individually. So I'm going to turn this one on and now she's in color too. Likewise, I'll do the same for this lady here. Let's turn this rainbow on. Now, what if you want to make two different versions of your video? One is totally black and white and one in color. Well, you can do that over here in settings. Doodly Rainbow, let's turn it on. And now all of the images are going to be turned into rainbow images. Okay, so you'll notice this character, which I had previously set to be a line image, has now been turned on. And that would happen across my entire video. So I could export this video and have a color version. And then if I go into settings here and turn rainbow off and hit apply, that's gonna turn off all of my images. So now I have a strict black and white version that I could export. That way I can have two versions, a color version and a black and white version. Now let's take a preview and you'll see how the colors appear by default. The hand kind of scribbles them in. So he draws the character or asset and then draws in the color in kind of a diagonal stroke. If you want to change that, you can. So let's click on our rainbow, the pencil icon and you'll see that stroke there, right? Well, if we go to reveal mode and click fade, then it'll draw the image and then the color just fades in. And that's a really nice effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And I'll do the same for this character here. Pencil icon, reveal mode, fade, save. And now if we hit preview, He'll draw the items and the color fades in. And that's the basics of using Doodly Rainbow. Thanks for watching.